so we saw how we could grab the elements by gra by get element by id right now i'm going to show you how you can use those elements along with few attributes which you can call on them okay and they are going to be text content inner text and inner html okay so we're going to also look at the differences between these three okay in terms of how they show up what is there uh, within the uh, whatever element we are, you're giving okay so for that let's create an element here okay so i have an element here p tag okay id of experiment and there is a break again there is a break break in the sense it's going to give a one line space and you have hello this is and within span tag uh, again i have tarun and how are you okay now this should be rendered onto a web page for that i actually have an extension here which is called live server you can also install it just click on extensions and hit live server okay and that is going to oops that's going to give you this list of uh, things where you have this live server and you can click on it and you can install it okay and you would get this live server so then you will have the option here or just right click and click on open with live server so that would open up a, a new link in your default browser let us go to let us open chrome paste it in open that so this is the website and let's open this so i have opened our uh, chrome dev tools control shift i okay and we have this so we have this hello this is tarun how are you now what i'm going to do is similar to similar to what we did let p equals to get sorry not not directly we have to do document dot get element by, by the way when you're typing when you get that suggestion and if that suggestion is what you want just hit, hit tab to auto complete so get element by id and i'm going to get um the experiment the experiment element okay and that is inside p now all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you first about the inner text because that is the simplest p dot inner text so p dot inner text gives us whatever the complete text is there within that tag just the text part okay it doesn't render the uh, tags inside it doesn't uh, give us the tags also it just gives the entire this thing so let's go to the extreme end which is inner html okay and when i hit enter that is going to give you whatever text is there inside along with the tags also which are inside okay there is a span tag and there is this br that is going to be given by inner html so inner text inner html and the last one which i want to show you is text content so p dot text content if i hit enter it is going to render that text uh, that HT, that uh, html tag part there was a br here so it gives a new line again here a new line and the the span tag is not there uh, it, none of the tags will be there but there uh, whatever it can render it will render it S say for instance br is for next line so it has given the next line here and this is how text content is printed okay so this is the primary difference between text content inner text and inner html and based on what you need to do you can use it so if i want to change this say p dot inner inner text equals to if i set something say yeah um doing great and if i hit enter that is going to change it there okay so this is dom manipulation all right so we grab the p element okay by document dot get element by id if we want we can read it okay or we can set a value to it we can tell like p dot inner text equals to something all right so this is how we use get element by id along with text content and inner text so on uh, there is one more thing which you can do where you can change the style of whatever the element you have selected so that you can do by p dot okay style dot and you can choose any style you want 
say for example color okay piro style dot color equals to and let me set a color here all right and the color is going to be say yellow not yellow it's yellow so it has set it to yellow did you see that that is how simple it is okay and one more thing which you need to do when setting style is style dot uh, if you remember the background color property in css is background hyphen color right but when using along with javascript dom you cannot use that hyphen thing so wherever that hyphen whichever css style has the hyphen just delete that keep make it make it capital okay and when you give that you're gonna get the property as of now there is no background color so it is showing that so if you want to set it just give keep like that and give white okay it it, it looks awful but <laughs> you get the point right you can set the background color you can do any css style okay but just remember the naming naming convention wherever there is a hyphen it would be changed into a continuous capital letter this is not only for background color this is for all css properties which have hyphens okay if they do not have hyphen you can just directly use this color thing so that is all for this video so we learned a lot about uh, get element by id how you can differentiate between text content inner text and inner html and how you can set the style of any element you grab with the style and about the difference between these kind of properties and the properties which have hyphens by default in css so that is all in this video see you guys in the next video hope you liked it